and they're away. And a pretty level one, Mighty Gurkha showing speed, Munista on the far side, Capanelli on the near side under Frankie de Torre take it up readily in the early stages, followed by a case of you and Jumbi is close up as well, Mighty Gurkha accelerating again on the far side of Campanelli, on the near side Dragon Symbol is right there as well, and then uh, behind these is Swayza, very handy indeed, uh, they're trapped by Isabella Giles and Lippert Zana, Dan Dalla towards the stand side, and in behind those measures of magic on the far side happy romance uh, being driven along is 5,000 to 1 out the back the Lear jet at this stage and laws of indices as they race down the center to stand side and it's mighty Gurkha and Campanelli uh, on the near side a case of you with every chance with dragon symbol coming there Swayza being pushed along as well then moon Easter on the far side happy romance and 5,000 to 1 and dragon symbol has come through to take it up from Campanelli is trying to fight back as they race on now towards the final furlong they're drifting across to the far side dragon symbol and campanelli they have it between them dragon symbol on the near side on the far side campanelli trying to repeat last year's queen mary win she's digging deep campanelli and dragon symbol they pass the post together in the commonwealth cup Followed home in third by Measure of Magic. Dan Della near side the Learjet running on and Laws of Indices. That's close. My first impression is that Dragon Symbol has held on to beat Campanelle and are certainly on the slow-mo evidence that's the case. It can be deceptive. We'll wait the judges' confirmation. But what a progression from Archie Watson, sprinter, whatever happens here. And Oshin Murphy, you're a man again. <laughs> that, that was a very good ride because Frankie was fighting back. Campanelle kept on fighting, kept on digging in. At one point, I think Campanelle perhaps just fractionally got back in front. But Dragon Symbol, I think, in slow motion replace seems to indicate. So he's, he's definitely in front here, Dragon Symbol. Yeah. And you would think he'll, he'll just go away now from Campanel. But because Campanel can stay a bit further, we saw him in a mile in, in the Breeders' Cup. He kept on fighting. Good race, tough, wow. two good jockeys. And two tough, tough horses as well. Yeah. Let's have a listen. Number three, Dragon Symbol has beaten Campanelle. And a measure of, is it Measure of Magic, who I think was in third, and a really good run from Dan Della, who I think may have filled the fourth spot. You see some of those really not being suited to conditions there. Sueza travelled well for a long way, but wasn't able to sustain that challenge. And how much of a blow is this to um, Connections of Rohan, in a way, because this race is restricted to Colts only and not Geldings, and Rohan was the horse that beat beat Dragon Symbol in the Sandy Lane Stakes at Haydock, which ended Dragon Symbol's unbeaten run. So not a bad record. This is it, Mikey. Five wins and <laughs> one second place in his career. Yeah, that's excellent. The boy has beaten the girl. There's a steward's inquiry. We're just yeah, they hearing did drift. the klaxon. Yeah, they did drift across. And it'd be interesting to see what the stewards make of that. Asheen acknowledges the skies and what a week he's having. He's absolutely brilliant, the champion jockey, isn't he? And fabulous um, result for Archie Watson as well. Again, another relatively young upward trainer. Yeah, George Bowie, Archie Watson doing very well and in particular with the two-year-olds. Well, Dragon Symbol provides Archie Watson with a second Royal Ascot winner. Asheen Murphy rides his eighth and he's now leading jockey with three wins this week and uh, assuming of course the stewards don't change things here look at this he's got his whip in the left hand and the horse is drifting slightly but he pulls that through to correct it we will let you know the outcome of the stewards inquiry placings revised. are revised yeah placings are revised Wesley Ward has won the Commonwealth Cup with Campanelle. And that is why it went on for so 